this year, I learned a new skill. I learned how to professionally code the designs I create and turn them into functioning web pages. It's been a pretty fun journey, and in this video, I want to tell you about it and also about the tools and resources that I learned to develop this new skill. So my journey with HTML and CSS started back in my MySpace days. I used to love spending hours and hours coding my page and turning it into the exact vision that I had in my head. So that was my first real introduction to writing a line of code and having it create a visual outcome. Later on in university, I took an interaction design paper, I think is what they called it. And in there we had one brief, which was to make an HTML web page using Dreamweaver and another, which was to make an interactive design using Flash. Neither particularly relevant these days, but it was at least an introduction to interactivity and thinking about web pages as a whole. Since university, I've continued to dabble in HTML and CSS is what I would say. I've used it to tweak the templates of blogs that I've had. And I suppose that my redesign of charliemarie.com a few years ago, when I really got in and started with a very basic WordPress theme and customized everything, that was a really good learning experience for HTML, CSS, and also a bit of PHP. But I never really coded professionally. I didn't know the professional front end development workflow. And that is what I needed to learn to be able to code on the job at ConvertKit. We're a very small team at ConvertKit, so everyone kind of has to wear a lot of hats. When I first started on the job, I'd design a web page and then Dylan, who was the other designer and who had started our whole WordPress theme, he would build it. Or if he was too busy, then sometimes Nathan, who was the CEO, would step in and build it. So obviously that is not an ideal workflow and it was pretty evident that I needed to learn to code these pages myself. And I was pretty excited about that opportunity, to be honest. You know, I dabbled in code over the years and so I thought it would be pretty cool actually to be able to learn how to code my designs professionally myself and have that control over it. So one of the first things I did when I decided to take this whole front end development thing seriously was sign up to Treehouse. Treehouse is an online code school that I'd heard really good things about, so I thought I would give it a go. They have a free trial, so, you know, there was nothing to lose. It turned out to be a really good decision for me. The, the way that Treehouse structures their courses is just perfect for the way that I learn. They're video-based lessons, and all of the videos are really, really well produced, and the tutors are very well spoken. There's obviously been really good scripts written and lots of preparation done beforehand for the filming. As well as the videos throughout the course, they also give you little quizzes just to check that you've understood the things that have been said in the past few videos. And there's also coding challenges, which I really like, where you have to actually implement the code that you've just been learning because I learn best by doing. Uh, if I watch a video or read a blog about something, I'm not really going to remember how to do it until I have tried it for myself because that's how it gets stuck in my brain. So I love that that is part of learning through Treehouse that you have to do these coding challenges as you go to. The way Treehouse works is that they have many, many different courses. And then those courses are also arranged into what they call tracks, which is basically like a learning path. So for example, you could join the WordPress development path and then it would show you all the courses that are related to getting started with WordPress development, for example. So far, I've chosen to just dip in and out and take the individual courses that are what I wanted to learn. I think sometimes the hardest part of learning is knowing what to learn, you know, especially when you're doing self-paced learning and you're learning online and you're not in a university setting with like a tutor telling you what the things are you need to know. For me, I had Dylan, the other designer that I mentioned, and my partner Mark, who is a developer. They looked at my skills and gave me some tips on what they thought that I should learn to be able to do this professional coding environment stuff. And so I took a lot of courses in basic development tools. I did the basics courses in Git, GitHub, Gulp, uh, learning how to use the console, all of those things that go along with HTML and CSS that you need to know to code professionally, which I didn't really understand and didn't really know it was a thing I should learn before someone told me. And so hopefully if you're learning to code, me telling you this now, and I'm going to leave links to those courses down below in the description, that will be a helpful place for you to start. Perhaps if you've been wanting to move past this dabbling stage and get more into the professional side of things. Anyway, that was a bit of an aside to say that what I like about Treehouse is that they do have these learning paths so that if you're not sure what to learn, but you know you want to learn how to develop a website by yourself, then you can join the web development track and it'll take you through the courses that you need to know in order to do that. So yeah, Treehouse for me has been really instrumental in taking my coding knowledge from the dabbling side of things and just, you know, messing around, seeing what works into the more professional side. 
and I still have my subscription running. Actually, Work decided that they would purchase a team account, so now it runs through them, though I did pay for it for myself for a few months before we got that, and it was definitely worth it. Uh, but now I know that it's there, so whenever there's something that I run into that I am realize I have a problem with, like for now, it's at the moment JavaScript and jQuery are the things that I know I need to know, because all the issues I keep hitting in my coding come down to those things. So I'm starting some courses in them, and I know that Treehouse is always going to be a resource that I have there to go to and learn in a style that I know suits me. I've also heard really good things about a book and a course called Super High, so perhaps that could be something for you to check out. I'll leave that linked in the description too. Another thing I did was buy the JavaScript for web designers by A Book Apart, because that was recommended to me. But I soon discovered that I cannot really learn code just from reading a book. I need to be doing it. Really, I think the biggest thing with learning to code is figuring out your learning style and finding a resource that suits it and works well with it. What is also ideal, though, is just getting stuck in and trying things. I think too often we could just spend forever in a course, right? Like I could do every single course in the Treehouse library and, and wait till then until I was ready to dive in and start coding. But it's been really good for me to just dive in and start doing little things here and there. Uh, actually, one of the first things I did was kind of a big project. I created the site for our conference that we hosted earlier this year, and I did a whole video talking about that, which I will link on a card and in the description if you want to hear more about it. But the reason I think that diving in is good is because you don't know where your knowledge gaps are until you hit them. Again, it comes down to knowing what it is you need to learn, and sometimes you don't know that until you try something and figure out that that is an issue for you. You'll be really surprised at how much you pick up as you go along. My CSS skills, I would say, were kind of rusty, like I didn't remember all of the selectors and things like that until I started getting into it and having to Google a lot of things, but the more you Google something, the more you're going to remember it. And that's another thing too, is that Google is always there to help you. Google is your friend. I have been told that even the most professional and like most knowledgeable of web developers still Google for things, so I don't feel ashamed at all about using it as a part of my web development flow, essentially. Whenever I get stuck on something, I will Google the problem, and generally there will be a Stack Overflow answer where someone else has asked the exact same thing and someone has solved it for them. Guess that's been my coding journey so far. It sounds pretty messy, and that's honestly because it hasn't been this like one clear path. It's been just a bunch of trying stuff and learning and building skills as I go. So if you're trying to learn to code right now, then I would say to just dive in, and if there's not a project there waiting for you, then give yourself one. I do think that you can think of learning to code in two halves though. There's the programming language side where you're learning, you know, how to write the code itself, and then there's the other side which is like the uh, development tools, version control, things like that. The next big project I am diving into is a system for running an online course like platform on our site. We're going to have a couple of online courses there and I need to figure out a way to let students enroll and send emails to them at the right time, tag them with the right things, etc. As well as like design the lesson pages and how the course will look and things like that. So that'll be fun and I'm sure I'll make a video on that when it comes about. One last tip for if you're looking to get started coding and you don't have that basic HTML and CSS knowledge that I gained through MySpace, uh, there's a resource called Don't Fear the Internet, which is free and it's great information. I think it'd be great to go through and I'll link that down below in the description for you. If you decide you do want to get a bit more serious with it though, then I definitely would recommend Treehouse. It's been a huge help for me and I've left an affiliate link to that down below in the description as well. So that has been my coding journey, up until now at least, because it's definitely still ongoing. I hope you enjoyed hearing about it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!